Hello, my name is Paul Yorkis, and I'm a candidate for Norfolk County Commissioner. Thank you, Quincy Access Television, for the opportunity to speak with you. I've lived in Medway since 1983. I was elected to the Planning Board twice and served as a chair and member of the Conservation Commission for nine years and as a member of the Economic Development Committee for seven years, and I am the current vice chair of the Medway Redevelopment Authority. I have written successful grant applications and federal and state earmarks for projects in Medway that resulted in the creation of an active and passive recreation area and the rebuilding of Route 109, Medway's Main Street. These were multi-million dollar projects. I know how local government works. Previously, I chaired a county economic development commission and served as the vice chair of a county master planning committee. I know how county government can work. If I am elected your next county commissioner, I will bring my knowledge and experience in both levels of government to provide you with the best possible Norfolk County government. In 2023, our county will be represented by two United States senators, four members of Congress, and approximately 24 members of the state legislature. I have been endorsed by Senator Elizabeth Warren, Congress members Jim McGovern and Jake Auchincloss, Senate President Karen Spilka, Senator Paul Feeney, State Auditor Suzanne Bump, and State Representative and Committee Chair Jeff Roy. I know these individuals personally, and I have worked with them on a variety of issues. I will work with them in the future to make Norfolk County an even better place to live and work. I also have earned the support of the Boston Iron Workers Local 7, the Boston Carmen's Union, the North Atlantic States Regional Council of Carpenters, and the Young Democrats of Massachusetts. Two of the current commissioners, including my opponent, are championing the removal of a forest on the Norfolk Aggie campus in Walpole to construct a solar farm Cutting down a forest to create a solar farm just does not make sense. What does make sense is for the commissioners to develop and implement a comprehensive energy sustainability plan for all Norfolk County facilities with input from the Massachusetts Department of Energy Resources, MassSave, Eversource, and community stakeholders. Norfolk County commissioners need to change their decision and deliberation processes to be open and transparent. Public meetings that are scheduled in the middle of the day need to be held in the evening so that residents of the county can watch and participate. Two commissioners, including my opponent, have removed the IT staff from the Norfolk County Registry of Deeds. I disagree with this decision as the Registry of Deeds in Norfolk County is the department that serves more people than any other function of county government. The decision to remove IT personnel from the registry was and is a bad decision. Currently, the commissioners spend $32 million of county funds and $137 million of federal funds. How these funds are spent should be based upon a strategic county plan that currently does not exist and is badly needed. If I am elected, I pledge to you that I will be available to listen to your questions and suggestions, that I will represent all of the residents of Norfolk County. I have campaigned in all 28 communities and will do my best to represent all of the communities and the 740,000 residents. My email address is pgyorkus at gmail.com. My website is paulyorkus.com. I ask you for your vote and thank you for your consideration. I sincerely look forward to representing you in the future.